Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. I'm outside Stamford Bridge with Father. We've just beaten Brighton 1-0 in the Carabao Cup. How are you feeling, my friend? All good, man. All good. Hey, you know what? We score five goals, actually, if you want to discount, um, including the Legends game. But, yeah, good, good, good. What? What's that got to do with this? <laughs> bruv, we've got, bruv, at least, you know what? I've, I've seen a lot of memes going, coming to the game today, yeah? Rightly so. Rightly so, yeah. Like Chelsea haven't scored, like haven't scored a goal in this month alone. Where well, to be fair, we scored four goals before today as well. Legends game, bruv. Come on, man. But all jokes aside, all jokes aside, it was a good performance, you know. Even though there was a bit of hairy, hairy moment right at the end. But yeah, I'm glad that we got a win. Like we haven't been feeling this winning since what? Since the bank holiday weekend, you know. And I'm just glad that eases off the pressure for Pochettino. You know, I'm glad that not only the the wins helps us for the going through to the fourth round, but also it helps us motivate us to do to to win this kind of competition. You know, because this is one of the way that we can get into the European football. You know, what, uh, what with the Carabao Cup? Yeah, you can like you can win you can win any domestic cups, then you qualify for. The, I thought it was just the FA Cup. No, it's, it's, I think it's a both though. Double check on that. Double check on that. Maybe I've maybe I've learned something. I I, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, you talk about having a little bit of a shaky ending. I mean, the beginning was shaky, especially yeah. if we look at the distribution from Sanchez. And mm. there was a few shaky passes, but he did manage to save himself. Yeah. He didn't concede. He did, he did redeem himself. He did redeem himself. And and I, I thought I thought some of the save that he did in, a, in the first half and the second half, I thought it was it was good. But you have to cre give credit as well to Leslie Oguchukwu. I thought for me, he was man of the match. He, he controlled the midfield really well. I thought I thought Mutrik also was the, was the honourable mention as well and the fact that Ugo Chuk will like the last couple of games has been the one that outshining the most in that midfield it raised me some question a lot about let's say if Lavia coming back after the injury what's going to happen to him then because we signed him for 40 mil but we've got we've got a player like Ugo Chuk who is just bowling out week in week out it's a it's a headache selection though I mean look if a player is playing well why why do you need to change him that's the way I look at it yeah why do you need to drop him at the end of the day like Ugo Chuk will yeah for me he's not he's not that type of guy that likes to bomb forward he's a baby Kante let's let's can we say that baby Kante regen Kante though you know he sits in front of the back four or back three and then do the ugly side of the game that is what we've been crying out loud ever since Jorginho left last season we've been crying out loud for a destroyer in the midfield and I think we got one today you don't think that's uh, Kaiseido's role then you think Ugo Chukwu takes that role more so I think I think it was, it was more Ugo Chukwu role in my opinion and I think with Kaiseido and I think it's a bit more number eight I, th I don't think it's, it's a good fit for number six though and when Enzo came in like let's say if Enzo comes in for the Fulham game yeah I would like to see him start with Ugo Chukwu to build that kind of chemistry you know and I I think I think with with that partnership, I think I think it will be perfectly perfectly fit for Enzo. But at the same time, you kind of re re released Enzo to be that playmaker number eight role, and it's it's, a, it's going to be a competition with with Enzo Caicedo Ugo Chukwu to be in that midfield. But the rotation, the squad depth, everything is there, man. Yeah, I mean, the, the only thing now is is consistent wins, but we got the first one on the board. Yeah. We talked a lot about consistency last season. I mean, can you see things changing in that sense, or do you think it's a case of it's going to be a little bit of a roller coaster this season, but we just have to take it on the chin? I think it's, I think it's, it's going to be a bit of a roller coaster, but at the same time, we're going to have to take it a game by game because these performers are, are rare, in my opinion, and the fact that um, we've got we've got Fulham, Fulham and Burnley away, that's two of our last games before we get into that that deep the the depths of hell fixtures by the time we get onto Arsenal and then Man City period then we get Tottenham and Newcastle so it's all about it's all about creating that consistency but at the same time creating that you know a positive uh, positive vibes in on our club because at the moment last couple of weeks for me I think even even in the online social media in some sense that it's just like it's a bit of a mix. Some people want to push in, some people want to push out. So we need to create our we need to unite a fan base as a whole again. What do you think about Poch? I, I think he's a good coach. Do I think he's an elite coach? No. But at the same time, you're, if, we, if you sack him now, like who's going to be out there going to get the best out of, um, out of these players though? That's a problem. And the fact that my issue as well, let's say if we get to 
uh, get to those period. Uh, by the time we get into the Christmas period, we have a we have a losing form. Then you can start a a asking a question: um, Who's gonna? Who, who are who are these people gonna hire for the for, for the next manager? Like my my worry is is that if if they sack Poch, but if if we we do get into that bad patches. Again, they're going to hire another CS man, but I don't want that. I want that sustainability, that so so that these so that Poch can can implement his style, but not only for this season, but also next season as well. But it, we, we'll see about it. I hope I hope that I hope that I'm, I'm right about this, but at the same time, we're going to have to take it game by game. And yeah, man. What does a successful season look for you? Uh, look like for you uh, with with Chelsea this season? Hmm, it's a tough question, you know. You know what? Any European football for me. Give me a conference C. Conference a seventh place for me, I think. Seventh place. Why not? Please. Bruv, I would rather I would rather we go to a weird away somewhere, um, Kazakhstan or maybe let alone Istanbul by Sakshi here away days. Do you fancy an away day in Moscow? Oh my oh hundred percent mate. Hundred <laughs> percent. Bruv, we can get we can go to a night out after that man. And imagine imagine if we win and then after that in Moscow, red light district and that let's <laughs> What go. do you mean the red light district? Moscow oh come on man, you know you know Moscow look like man. You've been to Moscow before? I didn't go to the red light district, did you? I think you did in Amsterdam there. Yeah? That's not Amsterdam, that's Moscow. Well, to be What's fair, that got to do with... What? Well, hey, come on, man. You, you... The fuck? <laughs> Father, you're thinking of Champions League football and Champions League rewards after the game. No. I'm talking about Bruh, Conference do you, League. Do you think Do you think we're going to get into Champions League football? I mean, I did at the beginning of the season, but let's be real. But honestly, realistically, look at the squad that we've got right now. Maximum at best, probably Europa Conference League. You know what? Give me, give me, give me Conference League. You know why? I want to complete that European trophy set. But, but no, actually, I say, I say, let's be real. We're probably not going to like. Yeah. The way I see it, you've got to look at it January, you know, when players are back fit and other teams have even more congestion and injuries. You know, that's when teams at the top of the table are going to be struggling more so than ever because they've got so many fixtures to cram in. We just won't have those issues. So maybe it's a case of just looking at it now and saying, look, we may not be on 18 points like some of these other teams at the top of the table. We might only be on five, but it's easy to drop points in the Premier League and it can happen to anyone. That's the thing. Like, you, you get into those periods where, uh, Jackson's going to be on AFCON. I think we're going to have to rely on Broja as a, as a lone striker, unless if he gets someone in like like Victor Osimhen, or maybe he'll like, be in the AFCON as well. Oh so my! You got to look I at forgot, Tony in oh that case. God, I forgot. I forgot about Osimhen in the AFCON as well. Oh yeah, that's the only thing, isn't it? Ivan Tony, does he want to come to Chelsea right now? Because I, th I I just think he's I think he's I think he's coming to Arsenal in my opinion. Like if we do if we do a bit more money in, and if, if we if we do get him, then that's good. But but by the time if we start, if let's say if we sign Tony, yeah, get into that fe February period, they're gonna be fighting a, a spot for that for that front line. But you know what? It's just like let's see in it by January, and how, I think Nkunku gonna come back at that time as well during the Afcon period, and hopefully, hopefully we have a full healthy squad. And you know what? I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that you're right, man. Like because we need this Champions League money, money because we need to 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 build. To, to build this this club yeah into that Champions League football game we need to bring that vibe in and uh, at the moment it's just like for me it's a good win but at the same time take it game by game and let's see against Fulham because that's the team that's another, another tough team though and down the road as well so we'll see about that